Hey, what's up? Uh, in this video, we are going to take uh, the room we modeled in the How to Model a Room tutorial series, and we are going to turn it into this. Uh, so essentially, we are going to add a realistic human character. Really important to be able to actually see what the light looks like on a person. That's what we're usually doing. Uh, we're going to add a bed. We're going to make the windows make a little bit more sense. We're going to add some furniture. Um, and then we're going to light it up in a pretty realistic high-end studio way. Now, um, Cine Designer is targeted um, and developed uh, primarily for the high-end cinematography markets, um, where you would have um, more time in pre-production, more money to do this kind of process, but I am going to be adding more um, you know, pr prosumer level lighting stuff. Or not so much like prosumer, but just Right now I ha have a lot of like space lights and 10Ks and I'm going to be building um, more techno cranes because um, some of the core people I know that are going to use this is, is that's where it's really important is to be able to visualize like um, 50 foot techno crane moves um, on stages where you're going to build a custom set. It's important to know those dimensions. That's the primary um, market for this, but I am going to be adding, um, like I said, in the future, if you've ever used, okay, if you've used a major uh, manufacturer's uh, light before ever on set, it will eventually be in uh, Cine Designer. So all the area lights from 150, 300, 650, 1K, 2K, 5K, 10K, all of those, um, all of the modern Mull Richardson stuff, not the super old stuff. I want to make like a retro a retro kit of all the Mull Richardson stuff, but I think those are mostly props these days. They're not necessarily being used. Um, I can tell you right now, the Mole Richardson stuff, that old stuff, that's going to be a separate kit that you would have to buy because that's going to take a lot of research treatment to build and it's kind of cosmetic. You know, most people don't shoot with those lights anymore. Um, all of the airy modern lights, the M8, 18, 40, 90, uh, 12K, 18K, those are definitely going to get added um, as part of the core kit because you know, those are the normal HMIs. I'm not going to do the older HMIs. Um, a lot of the stuff that's modern and being used today, I consider that pretty core and I really intend to put that in here as part of R1. I can't say that for sure, but that's like my intention because I consider that core. Um, all the frame sizes, um, 20 by 12 by 8 by 6 by, I already have the 12 by and the 4 by um, in this. That stuff's going to get in there. It's just a matter of um, me committing to making it. And uh, that's going to be about it. And then I'm going to have to definitely build some practicals for you guys. Um, some just normal like floor lamp, desk lamp, overhead sconce, that sort of stuff. And again, if you are part of the actual community who um, buys into Designer R1, then you have a lot more feedback into what I add next versus um, just kind of being from the outside su suggesting in. Um, that's helpful for me, but really I need to know what the customers want, like the people that have paid for it. Um, it's more my obligation to make sure that they have the lights that they use on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, at this point, having spent five years of modeling lights, um, I can make new lights very quickly. It's just a matter of what direction I go in. Uh, and that's going to be based on the community. So like I said, we're going to light this one up. And this is pretty much how I light commercials um, when we're building sets. Um, I know this is kind of higher end. Uh, to some people and lower end to other to other people that don't, don't like like this but um i think it's good to understand these high-end studio techniques because it happens pretty quickly in your career where uh you'll get to a certain point where you go from like you know shooting on mostly location to you might end up on a stage like this because it's a big job and you may not be familiar with the lighting techniques um you will be passively learning how to light big studio commercials just by watching this tutorial series um as well as learning how to you know design it and illustrate it in Cine Designer. So we're gonna take a really boring room that we modeled last time, just three walls, and we're gonna turn it into this set that's looking a little bit more real. So let's go to Cine Designer. So if you don't know how to make this room, um, go back and watch the how to make a light. I mean, how to make a room um, video mini course tutorial series that's on um, cinematographydb.com, or if you're on YouTube, go back and you'll find the playlist. I made a playlist specifically for it. So we have our room and we have our avatar. That's what I call them, or a figure. You know, these these are supposed to look like the, the... If you've ever taken a drawing class, they have these kind of, like, dummies for drawing. They're really helpful um, to kind of roughly, rough, quickly block something in, and they're fast. They don't lag the viewport, which you'll see in a second what I mean by that. Um, but let's start by bringing in some 
people, some nice looking people. So this is going to bring us to getting free content um, as far as what's included in Cinema, I mean, um, in Cinema 4D. So we're going to go from our objects panel to the content browser. Now, this is going to depend on what version of Cinema 4D you have. If you have Studio, it's going to have everything. If you have Visualize, it's only going to have Visualize and below. If you have Broadcast, it's Broadcast and below. If you have Prime, you only get the Prime stuff. And I'll show you what that means in a second. So we're in the content browser. And what I'm going to just do here is I'm going to click this little plus sign here and it pops it out because this is the fastest way to look at it, I think. Or I know. I know it's the fastest way. So go to Presets open it up and you'll see all these folders. And like I said, there's the different versions of Cinema 4D are represented here. There's Prime, Broadcast, Visualize, and Studio. And like I said, depending on what version you have, um, you get those folders of, of content that come with it. And the content that comes in there are honestly enough to probably do about 90% of the Cine Design jobs you're gonna do. So if you do invest in Studio, not only do you get all the functions like all the advanced rendering, the MoGraph stuff, you can do network rendering, which if you start to get serious into doing renders for this and you want to use um, multiple computers to render your your um, your sequences out and make it faster and make really nice looking renders for your clients, um, you might you're gonna you might need studio. It's kind of expensive, but it's uh it's it's a perpetual license, so you buy it once and it's an investment and you can use it for a long time. Uh, so let's start with the bottom or the most basic stuff. So here's Prime. So you click Prime and there's 3D objects. And inside 3D objects, there are these two humans. And I'm not gonna bring them in. They're actually two naked people. Not that useful. Most clients are not gonna appreciate you using naked people in the visualizations. And trust me, agencies, directors, producers, everyone's very sensitive to being PC and stuff like that. So dro dropping naked people in your scene, it's not gonna work out for you unless you're like honestly doing like, I don't know, like high fashion art or something where you need a nude model. Other than that, you don't want to do that um, in almost every case. Uh, next is broadcast and broadcast comes with a lot of stuff. So let's look through this real quick. I'm going to bring this over here. I guess I'll make this bigger because this is like kind of what we're talking about here. Um, this is again the content browser and um, this is just normal file trees, um, file tree navigation. And you'll see here, I think I can make the icons bigger for you. Um, I wish it was more than one column, but you'll see there's a bunch of random stuff in here. So it's like party stuff, cookware. And to bring this stuff in, you just double click it. I'm not gonna bring these in, but have go at it. When I was using Maya and doing some design, I had to model all this stuff. You don't have to do that. It's just here already. Really cool things in here, like a TV, computer monitor, just double click. You can use all these things. If you're doing like a commercial with these things, really get to know what's in here because it comes for free. And honestly, this stuff, you think if you think Cine Designer is expensive, go see how much it costs to go purchase. This, these kind of assets. If you want to have like a whole living room that's pre-rendered or ready to go, ready to render, ready to just drop in there, you'll start to understand how much 3D stuff costs and you'll start to understand kind of kind of how much of a bargain Cine Designer is. Uh, go to TurboSquid, for instance, in Google Airy and just go see how much it costs to find some photo real versions of cranes and lights and cameras. And those cameras and lights, they don't work. You can't do anything with them. They're just dumb models. You can't, you can't look through it. They don't light. They don't move. They don't talk to each other. You'll see, you'll see. So here, I'm just gonna click through these just so that you guys get an idea of what comes with broadcast. Um, all this stuff comes for free. All of it's awesome. Really good speakers, a guitar. So if you're like, you know, doing some design for a music video, having a guitar for free is amazing. I mean, this stuff honestly would cost you thousands and thousands of dollars to, um, to go buy and would take you years to learn how to model if you wanted to get this good. This, I can teach you to model like basic stuff, but to do it like at this level, it's, it's you're professional. This is professional level stuff. And if you guys saw the little demo I did on the launch day, uh, this is where the basketball hoop is. You double click it, you get the same exact basketball hoop I was using for my demo. Here's some street stuff. You know, I'm just going to go through all this so you guys can check it out. Um, wrench, vegetables, weather, weird. Um, so let's move on to visualize. Again, visualize has a ton of stuff all this kitchen stuff, uh, a bathroom. Like if you want to design a bathroom real quick and use a tub and all this stuff, this stuff is thousands of dollars of assets. Um, bedroom, bunch of beds, we're gonna use those. Uh, if you're doing exteriors, um, they have a bunch of like stand-in houses that are all to scale. It's really quick to just start, boom, doing some houses. I'm just gonna go through the rest of this really quickly. Humans, um, bunch of people, 3D scan people. I mean, it's enough to get you going 
for a long time. There's trees. Um, actually, we're going to use a bunch of this stuff in a second, but I want to show you the people. There's just a whole bunch of stuff, and we're going to use that free stuff that comes with Cinema 4D to build this room out. So um, in other videos pretty soon, maybe like actually right after the series, because you'll start to find that um, finding assets is going to be a lot more time. It's going to save you a lot more time, uh, even if you have to pay a little bit of money for them. Uh, the time savings is worth it usually. So I'm just going to go back in here and we're going to bring in our first person and that might end it for this actually. No, I'll try to, you know, I'll try to bring everything. I'll, I'll just do it quickly. So let's go to presets. Let's go to studio. Now studio has some great humans and I love these models. They are like really nice looking models. So I just double clicked the, f the female and they didn't write, um, add event in the script, which you guys don't have to worry about that. But as far as programming for Cinema 4D, you have to do add event or it doesn't update the browser. And that's what's happening here. Um, so here's our person and we are 1,000 and 1,001% 1, not going to get into 3D animation um, as far as character animation. But just know that this character is rigged like you would get a character for Pixar. So if you wanted to, you could start 3D animating this person really accurately really professionally. Now, it's not easy. That's not an easy thing to do, but you could do it. Uh, and this is free with the studio version. And this character, I bet you, is going to be the character that a lot of people who do cine design are going to be using because it's really good quality. It's rigged to move. It's just really good. You're going to probably use it. Um, so that's how we bring in a person. And you know what I'm going to do to wrap it up for this one is I'm going to I'm going to fix this wall. So let's uh, let's go into solo mode over here. Okay, so I made these like kind of weird castle windows. No, that's not that's not right. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go to, gonna hit zero, turn off only select visible. Like I said, you're gonna do that every single time you ever use this program. Um, maybe you can turn it off by default. I don't know. We're gonna select this and we're gonna make these windows normal looking, um, and kind of like luxuriously normal, like kind of big windows. Um, it's gonna work out for this demo, and it just kind of looks nice. And then like having like a little window like that. It's like yeah, no, nah, we live in like live in a nice big big apartment or something like that. Um, so big windows, and yeah, so we fixed that. And that's how quick that is to just change that up. If the director's like, eh, I don't really like how those windows look, can we make them smaller? Can we make them blah, blah, blah? It's like, yeah, just you just do that. Oh, did that render funny over here? That looks okay. Um, cool, so that is gonna wrap up this lesson, um, this video, this, ep this episode. Uh, we looked at, we looked at the content browser, and depending on what version of Cinema 4D you have, you get a ton of stuff for free. And if you invest in Studio, you get a ton of stuff, including that character. And I use that character for everything. Um, it's actually one of the issues of Cinema 4D right now is getting quality characters. I'm going to show you one other place to get them. Um, not quite for free, but almost for free. Uh, it's part of the Adobe Creative Cloud called Fuse. I'll show you how to use that program, how to bring them into Cine Cinema 4D. And the people that are already um, a little bit deeper into this workflow that I've that helped me beta test and they've kind of been with me doing this even when I was back in Maya, we live on Adobe Fuse because you can make custom characters like you can in a video game, bring them right in here. So you make it, it's like literally doing a Skyrim character creation, drop them into Cine Designer, start doing it. Um, so that wraps it up for this video. Uh, next time we're going to start bringing in some furniture. I'll see you guys in the next video.